Hello everybody and welcome back. This is a different tutorial, not a VR tutorial, but this is actually a streaming tutorial because some of you have asked me, how do you multi-stream? AKA, how do you stream to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time? I could also even stream to Facebook if I wanted or even other platforms. Um, I have not tried TikTok yet. I don't know how to stream to TikTok mainly because my TikTok is not at the level of being able to stream yet. But once I am there, I may eventually stream to TikTok, TikTok as well i do not stream to facebook because I, that's my private site i don't want it to stream to my private settings and such but with that said we are going to look at it the plugin you can actually see down below it's right here in this section um yeah this this is it the multi or mul multiple output um i i normally just put log it right here but you can see I have Twitch at Omega Given. I have YouTube at Omega Given. I technically do not need this YouTube because what I do is I personally have it. So I have when you go over here and go to settings and then I hope I'm not going to dox my stream or anything. You, I have it connected to my Omega Given account on the stream. So you're going to need to connect one of them, whether it be YouTube or um, Twitch. I have it primarily just set up for YouTube because it's a little bit easier to set up on YouTube and then and a little bit easier to make the plugin, which I will show you how to install um, aimed towards Twitch. So you set up on YouTube service RTPS um, rather than the custom and you can connect there or at least this is how I do it. And then make it so whenever I am about to start broadcast, I go up to here. Um, maybe I can maximize that a little. No, it's not going to maximize that much. All right. Well, up here, there's the manage broadcast. You click manage broadcast, choose existing broadcast. And if you schedule the broadcast, you select it from here and you do start streaming or start broadcast and start streaming or select broadcast and start streaming. Or you can just select broadcast and then click start streaming up top. So I click it, then I click start streaming and it will start streaming to YouTube. After that point, I can click on Twitch. And booyah, I can stream to Twitch. Um, basically how this works, you can add new target. You're going to add the name of the target, which, you know, I named it as Twitch. And then Twitch, there is the two RTMP server key or server and key. So those, you have to put those two in. Um, you don't really need anything else. You just need those two. And then once you have those two in, you can literally just click OK and it will add a new target. And you can see I have that new target here, even though it's blank. So I could click start, but it says incorrect RTMP address. So that was because I didn't put anything in there. I'm going to delete it, though. Um, so how do you get this? Um, so I'll have a link in the description. Um, but at this point, I want to give a little plug in here. Um, if you guys like these kind of tutorials, please give, please, please give this video a like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. But OK, let's go on to how do you get this? So let's go over here. Um, I have, I'll put this website in the description. This website is the multiple RTMP outputs plug in. Um, it's made by Sora Yuki, um, is a Japanese person. Um, if you did not, um, it's kind of hard to navigate it because if you click on at least this link to his homepage, it goes to this website, which is all Japanese, which I can read Japanese. So it's not too bad. Like this is a screenshot screenshot but it doesn't matter. But let's if you scroll down, he has English right here, how to build in Windows. So prepare the environment, put official release of OBS 21 into OBS bin directory, extract OBS source code of, of same directory as binary to, I don't even think this is how I had to do it. Download Qt that bin uses, which can be found in whatever, configure use. Okay, I think this is actually not something you really need. So let's actually go to his GitHub page. This is actually how I think I originally did it. Um, if you don't know how to manage GitHub pages, um, then it's something to know that if you're not going to be a supporter of the code itself, you can go over here to releases. You can click on the latest release. Um, so it's on the right side of the page. You got releases. So we're going to click releases. Um, you can actually access other releases if you wanted to. So there's actually other previous releases. But let's access the latest release. You can then download this. This is for Windows users. You can download the uh, EXE and it will set up all for you. So it's like super automatic for Mac um, users. I guess there's this one. I do not know how Mac works. Um, maybe it's some other way. It's a package file. You have to run a package file. I don't know how, how you know Mac users work, but all you have to do is literally download this. And then once you have it downloaded, you run it and then you should be set to go. Like there's not much more to do. Like it's just simple as that. 
Um, I think you got to make sure um, if you have your OBS installed in a custom place, make sure you can find wherever you installed it. But it'll install it. It'll and then once on your OBS settings, um, it'll be in, it'll be installed in the plugin section of your OBS. So you can double check it there. Um, I don't actually know exactly where to find the plugins. Let me check one second because I'm trying to get this all in one uh, thingamajig. Maybe I don't know. Um, here, <laughs> it's a live. We got our live searching of stuff. I actually like doing this kind of stuff where you guys can see that I don't know everything, and you just have to find things sometimes. OBS, there we go. OBS Studio. We go to OBS plugins. You go to 64-bit. Um, is there? No, I don't see it. Uh, where is it? Locales? No. I think it might actually unpackage it and do it that way, and it's gonna be in here somewhere as an unpackaged kind of a directory. So that might be how it works. But I just wanted to share that resource with you. Um, of course, give the guy all the credit. He, he made this. Um, you can donate. He actually has a little thing in the plugin when it installs. So you can donate to him if you wanted to. Sora Yuki, thank you so much for this plugin. Um, okay, another big thing to note. Hopefully you've watched to this point. Because if you haven't, you're going to be complaining about it in the comments. And I'm just going to be like, have you watched the whole video? Big thing to note. This only works if you have a good upload speed. Yes, you need upload speed. So if you're a streamer, you probably need three to six megabits per second to stream your content. Well, now you're not only just streaming to YouTube or Twitch, if that's your primary source, you're streaming to another service. I mean, you're doubling the amount of upload you are doing, doubling it. It does not make it so it's streamlined to one. It doubles it because it has to send it to both. So I am actually using 12 megabits per second when I am streaming. Luckily, I am on a fiber optics network. Uh, I have, you know, why or my internet is fiber Wi-Fi or not Wi-Fi uh, fiber internet. And that makes it so I have 300 upload max. I have 300 up and down. That's all I really need to stream and download everything. And guess what? I am fine because I have 12 of 300. Now, if you're on normal cable internet or <laughs> if, if DSL even exists anymore, like DSL internet, you have probably not enough unless you have higher packages where it gives you up to 24 megabits per second upload, which those are probably like 500 to a gigabyte packages um, for cable. So if you have those, then you, you can do it. But if you do not have that, if you have 300 megabits per second, download speed on a cable internet you probably only have maybe eight megabits per second upload meaning you cannot do this um you might bare minimum do it as long as nobody else is on the internet and doing anything else but you probably cannot do this so uh just wanted to make sure that that's clear to you guys um hopefully this tool does help you i know a lot of people asked this before and i finally like you know what i'll make the tutorial on it and post it so you guys can have the resources and you can see what it looks like how it works um, then again, and just, just a little reminder, I do have to stream normally, like this is a normal stream controls to YouTube. And then I just click on Twitch down here to click start. I'm not going to show you the modifier. I'll still see like my other stuff, but that is exactly how you do it guys. You just use the EXE for, if you're on PC, um, Mac has a thing, no idea what you do for Linux. All you Linux users, you can figure it out if you want. Um, if you're on Linux, <laughs> good luck. <clears throat> yeah. All right. But thanks again for watching. Give, please give this video a like, subscribe. We do have membership. So if you want to be able to watch our content two weeks in advance, sign up for our membership. It's only $2 a month and I will see you all next time.